A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Shivastava and I am from Network Nerds. So before uh, this, like I've started doing my sketching here, you can see a couple of pictures are coming up. So what I'm going to tell you is where Linux knowledge will land you. So consider this, it's a bank. These two, one girl and the boy, they are working in a bank and you go to the bank like we as a customers will we go to the bank to do the transaction and the girl sitting there can help me making uh, giving me my bank information and all the things and I can go to the other uh, branch also which that man is there so but is my data stored on their local hard disk no so data is being sent somewhere else the data is not stored in the local hard disk of my bank executive machine. The data is going somewhere else. Right? So data is not stored in the local hard disk. Data is on the move. Because if my data was on the local hard disk, then I won't be able to access my bank details from a different branch. Right? So data is always on the move. Like this. So this is the area where we work in the bank we go to the man or, or or that beautiful girl there and we do the transactions but the data is not stored here so this area the bank here my bank i'm just let me draw a boundary here so this area where we as a customer interact with the bank is known as the desktop or the workstation area right this is the area where the customers deal with the bank with, with the bank executives like the girl and the boy there but the data is not stored there in their local hard disk data is on the move so data is being sent to some different places data will never be stored in their local hard disk because if the data is there in, in the local hard disk then i won't be able to access my data across india or or across the world so data is on the move so where the data is going so using switches it can be a cisco switch or a juniper switch or any other switch using networking infrastructure like using the switches like this different branch will have different switching and then using complex networking technologies and the protocols and using the routing also here comes my router so data is moved to their secure location so this area where the data is being routed to a to the data center either within the organization or offshore this is being handled by the networking guys so we call it the network infrastructure area infrastructure means there here I have got switches and routers which handles my data so data is constantly on the move so the same data that the you have just inquired about is being moved over the network using routers and switches but, but where the, the data is going this is the most important part of a company so a company is logically divided into three parts one is the desktop or the workstation area another is the network infrastructure area and third one this is the part this is not the transformer kind of stuff so this is the server these are the servers where actually the company is storing their customers cr critical data and the security here is the prime concern right because you won't like if your data integrity or say your bank account is being wrongly debited by one dollar or two or two dollar right so this area where actually the data is stored is the most important area as far as any company is concerned or any bank is concerned or any organization is concerned this is the area so we call this area as a data center and normally the bigger the company the bigger are the chances that these data centers servers will be running the Linux and chances are that they will be running Red Hat Enterprise Linux as their operating system on their servers in the data center. So when you are trying to learn Linux or when you are enrolling 
for course like Linux, sorry, for RSC, RSCVA. That means you want to move inside this data center area. You don't want to work in the network infrastructure area. You don't want to work in the desktop area, but you want to work in the data center area, right? If you want to see yourself that if you do courses like MCITP or MCSE, that means you want to work in the desktop or the workstation area in any organization. I have just given you an example of bank, but you want to work here. So your role might be that uh, you need to troubleshoot the problems of the local machines or the local workstation like some some employee might complain that his or her internet is not working some applications are not working so those were the jobs that generally uh, being taken by the desktop support engineers and it's not necessary but generally you won't find servers running on windows operating system generally normally data centers across the world they prefer linux they prefer red hat enterprise linux so if you want to work in the desktop area or you 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 want to see yourself as a desktop support engineer then go for the courses like mcitp or mcac and things like that but if you think no my flair is i'm more interested in configuring the switching and the routing configuring the vlan uh, doing the structured cabling, designing the network, then you should be doing courses like CCN and CCNP. But remember friends, the data is not in the desktop or workstation area. The data is again not in the network infrastructure area. And I hope you will agree that data is the most important thing that the company is concerned about. If this laptop goes out or this laptop is like goes kaboom or the workstation is not working, I being the company I'm least bothered if my switch is not working or it refuses to work I don't care I care but but because the data is not there so I'm least concerned my concern will be least so what is the most critical part as far as any company is concerned be it Google or Facebook or any company the data center this is or any financial organization because the data center is the location where your data is stored this is the epicenter right now this so the cost for you cost for cost for the company is not the time the cost for the company is not the switch replacement cost or a laptop re replacement cost the cost for the company is the data that the data integrity will should not never be compromised so when you do courses like rsc and rsca or rscva any courses in the linux domain that means you want to see yourself working inside this data center as a Linux server admin or system admin. So you need to choose your domain very carefully. Which segment of the company or which area of the company you want to work with. So I personally think that if I am the company, so I will be more concerned about the data center, the data. Because no company can afford to compromise the customer data take it a bank or anything so when you do rsc that is very sure that you you want to see yourself as system admin or working as the linux admin inside this data center right so you should be very careful what where you want to land up the idea is not to do the course you should always begin with end in mind so if your end in mind is to work in a data center using uh, server hardening doing securing the servers securing the application doing virtualization cloud computing cloud storage configuring uh, like configuration management tools like uh, chef puppet your uh, managing uh, things like your big data you you can use Splunk so, as the world is moving towards the cloud, the focus will be shifting to the data center. Now the desktops are losing their significance. It doesn't matter whether I'm running Ubuntu or Windows because the application is hosted on the server. So choose very wisely where you, where you want to land up. So you should always begin with end in mind. All things are good. MCSE is good, CCN and CCNP is good, but the epicenter right now is the data center right so you should be doing linux if you have a flair of or if you want to manage 
the servers, the virtualization stuff, the cloud computing stuff, you should be doing Linux certifications, especially Red Hat Linux certifications. So I hope this small presentation will help you choosing where you want to end up. So friends, always begin with end in mind. Thank you very much. This is Alok Srivastava from Network Nuts. Bye.